Hi, and welcome to Buzz TV. I'm Donica Hudson with On a Mission to Rededicate America to God. Today, we have an incredible guest, my dear friend, Ashley Shule. She is the founder of Arise. Ashley, welcome to the show. Thank you, Donica. It is an honor to be here today. Well, I'm so thankful for you. Ashley and her husband are actually love sponsors of the First Landing 1607 Declaration of Covenant event, and Ashley is also one of the prayer leaders for the event. Ashley, tell us a little bit about Arise and why you'll be praying and leading repentance for abortion. Oh, man. Um, I had an encounter with the Lord last year, His heart for the unborn, and with that burden, He birthed out of me praying for life and through that process of intercession and praying and simply communing with the father he sent our family on assignment to cape henry last summer to simply to pray and to repent on behalf of the slaughtering of the unborn and in that time there has just been a continuous burden daily though roe v wade has been overturned for us to continue to be contend for the ending of abortion now on a state level. And so the heart of really why um, being led to pray and to go to Cape Henry and just intercede and head up in prayer is because this is God's heart. This is the foundation of where it all began in the establishment of America. And so we cannot recover it until we repent. That's so well put. Thank you so much for being willing to come with us and pray. You know, I talk a lot about in the Declaration of Covenant that we're all, all going to be doing together as we recovenant with our founding fathers who landed at Cape Henry, put a cross in the ground, knelt, took communion, and rededicated themselves and America to God. Or actually, they dedicated the land to God. We're joining them in rededicating America to God. And they prayed that we would be evangelists to the world and that those who come back to that cross, like you and your family did, Ashley, join them in that covenant. And I was so moved by the pictures and you actually took my book out there, Pray America Great, and prayed, which really touched me. And so I knew that God had already put it in your heart and you had to be part of this event. So you have been going around and we can see you're a North Carolina girl, just like I am by the flag in the back. (laughs) Love my Carolina (laughs) girls. Um, I wanted to you though, Ashley, you've been going around the state and the country and praying when the when God leads you to do so because you so love our country and you are so sensitive to the Holy Spirit. So I want to ask you, has God divorced America like he did Israel in Jeremiah 3 8? Wow, that's a huge question. Yes, in part. Yes. Okay. Um When I say yes in part and divorcing America, it is not a finality of divorce. It is an invitation so that America is not divorced from him. We are given a window of opportunity to divorce the world so that we can recovenant with him. And he is talking to the church in this hour so that a nation can be restored because this nation was covenanted to God. And so we broke covenant. He hasn't broke covenant. He never has. We did. And he's asking us to repent and come back to him. So I don't see a finality with America. I actually have great hope. And that is why I'm so burdened to repent. But there is a justice. There is an invitation to repentance so we don't have judgment and we don't have a finality of divorce. And I'm hoping I'm making sense here with what I'm saying, because there's a strong burden that God does not want to uh, divorce America, but it's because of our rebellion and our sin that is, is welcoming in the judgment of God upon those who are unwilling to repent. Right. 
That's so well put, Ashley. And it is making a lot of sense. In fact, you are echoing the words of Glenn Beck, whose show I was just on, by the way. And we even talked about, and I said, we have a window of time because he had broadcast and talked about uh, on the Tucker Carlson show that we will be a police state by 2025 if we don't do something to stop this. And it's by prayer and repentance. And that's exactly what we're doing at First Landing. We're not only recovenanting, we're repenting. And you have really led the charge with what I would consider is one of our, is probably the greatest sin of our nation. Over 60 million unborn children killed annually. That's just horrific. And thank God, since the time you went to the cross at Cape Henry, Roe v. Wade was overturned on a national level. But we do see that, uh, the, the evil at work through the leftists in our government trying to stick that abortion back into an omnibus bill and do things like that to cleverly um, trick America into bringing and heaping judgment upon ourselves again. So I'm really grateful for your prayer mandate. I'm thankful that you're coming and that you'll be leading prayer of repentance with us. It's so vital. You have such a heart for the country and you have a great team of intercessors. I want to thank you for covering us in that as we've been preparing for this event. And before I just want to take Donica, when you were just, even when you were talking, I just had this sense, even from that question, following up to that, God cannot turn his hand and his eyes from sin. He, he can't do that. He can't. He you mean can't, he can't look upon can't, sin? Yes. He can't turn from that. And so it's required for us to repent. And so there's not a fin- finality of divorce. It's just he can't look upon it. He can't. It, it's not. He's not okay with it. And I really right. feel his heart about that. I really, mm-hmm. I really feel his heart about um just the discouragement of the burden and the the weeping and the travail that the church really needs to enter into. This is not just an event. Mm-hmm. This is like I am. I am. I'm sorry. I am identifying with every child who no longer has a voice on the earth. I am identifying with a church who has rebelled and sinned and got in bed. With the world, yes. it has right. not been the light and the voice that we need to say this is a sin. We cannot do this. It's not okay. Mm-hmm. And that type of identificational repentance is so needed. Daniel did that when he was standing in the gap for a nation, just as you are, Ashley. And we're so thankful that you're willing to do that uh, on behalf of America. And you know, your the, your point is so um, important. Most people don't understand covenant because in America we have a contract mentality with if then clauses where if, if one person does this, then we can break the contract. Well, a covenant is just not that way. You know, a covenant is till death do you part. And God made that covenant with us and with the founding colonists, you know, and when we join and we, like when you prayed the, the prayer, even in my book and recovenanted with them, we are joining them. We're ushering in a force of covenant in history to save this nation, to um, reestablish our identity in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which points to covenant, the God who made us, you know, and I I am so grateful to you. Before you, um, before we wrap this up, Ashley, are there any parting words, anything you would like to say to everyone who's listening? I want to give you hope. I have so much hope for America. This is not the end. But I want to release the burden of the Lord and what he has spoken to me. Where a nation is quiet, crying out woke, God is saying, woe. And I am responding to that woe with repentance on my knees, saying, God, search me. See if there be anything in me repenting for bloodshed, identifying as one, not pointing fingers, getting real with the Father so that America can truly be saved and we can fulfill the mandate and the commandment of what 1607 Cape Henry was all about. 
America belongs to the Lord and America shall be saved. That is beautiful. How do people get in touch with you, Ashley, and follow your ministry? Oh, you can go to arisefromash.com. You can find me on Instagram and you can find me on YouTube, just spreading the love of the Lord and the truth of his gospel and equipping the remnant to burn and to get on fire and to pray and to fulfill destiny, because that is our call for such a time as this. Thank you so much for joining us, Ashley. This has been Ashley Shule from Arise. She will be leading covenantal prayer with us and repentance for the sin of abortion in our nation. Join us at the 1607 event by going to firstlanding1607.com. While there's still tickets left, try and grab one of those. It is next week. It's going to be soon. And Ashley Shewell will be there with us helping to lead that prayer. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Donica Hudson with On a Mission to Rededicate America to God.